Hi guys, my crew here. This is my video on infinite bloodwood trees. You can chop from any bloodwood tree and have it never deplete with a certain method. This would be the equivalent of 15 million GP an hour doing bad criminal bolts. One thing I will say before getting into this video is that it's not available for Iron Men, it's only main accounts, and it has very high requirements. So taking a look at these high requirements, we need 99 woodcutting. And the reason why Iron Men can't do this method is you need a plus 11 woodcutting boost from a pulse core. I'll speak about that more in a second. If you want an infinite tree, you need every boost. This includes the legendary Lumberjack Aura. You also need Honed 6 and Refined 4 on your hatchet, alongside the Sentinel outfit, Ring of Whispers, and a Beaver. This should give you enough to make it infinite alongside the pulse core buff. You should also use the fletching cape as it works with back bolts and you should be using bloodweed incense sticks as it has a chance of chopping two logs at once. This is going to increase your GP an hour. The grace of the elves and the brooch of the god are optional but they can proc here. That's it for the setup, let's get into the actual method. There is a slight input cost to this method, you need to buy the criminal bolt tips. You can buy them next to the KBD entrance in Edgeville. They're 200 GP each, but you can sell the bolts for like 2.6k. So you make a hell of a lot of profit. This is probably the most important and most tedious part of this method. You need to get a pulse core buff into your gathering skills to give you plus 11 in woodcutting. Just go to world 84 portables, wait around there, do some skilling, do some disassembling or time while waiting. And as soon as you get the buff, as soon as you get to 110 woodcutting, you want to lobby. This will start your one minute timer. If you've ever done stuff like overloads before, you can lobby to force your skills not to go down. Your skills go down once a minute. So you log in, you wait until your timer hits like 55 seconds, and then you lobby. This will stop your woodcutting ever dropping below 110. It needs to be 110 for the infinite trees, but it does mean you need to lobby once a minute. So this is the tedious part. I just used the Alt-1 timer as it overlays it on screen. If you don't have Alt-1, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It has tons of useful tools for RuneScape. The Bloodwood tree that I went to was the one behind Mana Farm. Although you can go to any Bloodwood tree, I'll also leave a link in the description for the Bloodwood tree locations. There's one in Soul Wars. There's also one in the Garage Resource Dungeon, etc. So you could go to those instead. I just went to the Mana Farm one as it's super close to a teleport if you have it unlocked. You want to activate your aura, you want to get all your buffs up and start chopping the logs. As soon as your timer hits 55 seconds, what I do is I hop to people on my friends list and then that automatically lobbies you and logs you back in. It's quicker than lobbying and logging in. If you just hop quickly to people on your friends list or clan or whatever, that will instantly get you hopping. Then log back in and do the exactly same thing over and over and over again. Whenever your inventory gets full, chop those logs into shafts once you've made your shafts, I just keep them as shafts until your aura expires. You can do an hour or you can even extend the aura for 10 Vizwax to do two hours. Then you can even reset your aura and go for another two hours if you wanted to. You just want to chop the tree for the duration of your aura, then tip the shafts after your aura essentially, because if you tip the shafts at the same time, you're going to lose out on time you could be chopping the tree. Tipping the shafts really doesn't take long afterwards it literally takes about a tenth of the time one very important thing that i want to stress is do not step away or teleport with the shafts in your inventory only move away once you've made them into full bolts they will disappear do not step away okay especially if you have thousands of shafts they'll all be gone if you teleport or move away so make sure you're always next to the tree I did this for an hour. As you can see, the tree is still up and I have 7,250 shafts. This means you're making over 7,000 shafts an hour. Now that I had done my hour, I wanted to tip them. Tipping them took me around eight minutes or so. So it was an hour and eight minutes to cut and tip 7,250. Now it was time to go sell it and see how much money I'd made. Just chugging a bolt in at 1 GP to see the insta sell price. It was under mid. It was 2,611 GP. But these bolts at this price means that I made about 15 million GP an hour if you include the time to tip them and the GP spent on the tips and the bloodweed sticks, etc. 
That is a hell of a lot of money just for woodcut in a tree. It is very tedious though, you do have to continuously lobby, so that does get annoying. You can also then move on to using a portable Fletcher to then tip the criminal bolts with other, you know, gem tips like Ruby or Hydrix, and you can potentially make even more money on top of this. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this weird method. It does require a lot, but it is very rewarding. Do give the video a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new for loads of future RuneScape free content and don't forget to comment that I killed your money maker. Yes, the criminal bolts will probably drop in price a little bit, but this was absurd and I wanted to share it. And back bolts are super expensive anyway. Either way, until next time, see ya.